Hey guys, what is up? Jerkook here, back again on the Razor channel, bringing you guys a video here today. This one is going to be a HBR3 class setup. Gameplay in the background is going to be Razor Addy, a really, really good player. He is a pub stumper within the clan. A lot of you may have seen him from some of his other gameplays. Really good player. Be sure to check out his channel down in the description below. So, quick little thing here we're going to be talking about before the actual video is question of the day. And last video's one was what do you all think of supply drops? And there should be a little link on the screen or picture on the screen of what someone's actual idea of it was but my opinion on it really is I really do enjoy supply drops they're really really fun and kind of add in another effect to the game something to look forward to maybe when you actually get one kind of spruce up the game one thing I find weird is is it just me or do you always get them when you die like it's, you never get a supply drop when you get like a three piece or a two piece or turn on someone or like a double kill or anything of that likes it's always when you die I don't know why that is I think <laughs> sledgehammer trying to like integrate all right the guy's gonna be pissed off if he died. We'll just give him a supply drop, but we'll cheer him up, you know, keep him playing the game a bit longer. But no, for serious guys, what is your opinions on that? And also my question for today is kind of intertwining with yesterday's, is should supply drops be available to buy in Advanced Warfare? For example, like the way you buy packs on FIFA or like cases you open on Counter-Strike if some of you play Counter-Strike. Um, it doesn't actually have to be by money. You obviously could pay them by money if they want to integrate that in or maybe another form of actually being able to get them by playing the game or something like that. Obviously that's already intertwined in, but you know, getting points or some way of opening that way. Basically, we're doing the HBR 3 class setup. Obviously, I do personally think this is the second best assault rifle behind the battle, which is obviously OP. And if that gun gets nerfed, pretty sure it's going to be the best gun. So you're going to want to take this class setup down. So the attachments we do have here from Addy is suppressor, extended mags, and foregrip. Other preferences that I would recommend, maybe, um, is red dot. Some people really enjoy the red dot, but I don't know how you're going to fit that in with some of these really good actual attachments I already have here, and also stock. Some people do need stock on ARs, some people find it fine without stock, but the suppressor, obviously going to keep you off the minimap, really, really good, obviously, attachment, very popular in every single Call of Duty we've actually seen so far. Extended mags, I do find you run out of bullets really, really quickly with the battle, so you kind of need that extended clips to make sure you get that two-piece, three-piece to keep you on that streak, and obviously the then foregrip obviously just makes the freaking gun a laser beam so you know that is one thing that you definitely need a really really good attachment the foregrip I really do recommend that if you guys have not been using it also we're gonna have the wild card is gonna be perk one and perk three greed and obviously primary gunfighter for those three attachments we'll go into the perks a little bit later we're gonna have no pistol on this you need that extra slot for better perks streaks attachments and so on um, not really many really good pistols in this game few of them, like, when they're just weaving around, you just need that primary weapon to just kill them nice and quick. Pistols in this game, almost useless. Launchers, who really uses launchers, let's be honest here. No offense if you actually do. So we're then also going to have no extra ability, grenades, stun, or anything of the like. We need that extra slot once again for better perks, streaks, attachments, and so forth, as I was saying previously. So yeah, we're going to really need them slots to really bulk up on these perks right here, because that is where you're going to get them gun streaks, getting them DMA bombs, really getting the high streaks, and the best gameplays possible, guys. So we're going to go over the perks right now. So perk 1, what we do recommend is low profile and flak jacket. Low profile is basically going to keep you off the radar, all of that is basically like Ghost from any other Call of Duties if you guys do remember. And flak jacket obviously going to protect you from them random nades. Obviously other options within the class set is obviously going to be lightweight, danger close or overcharged. The only other option I can really see there actually being viable is lightweight, danger close, not very useful since you're obviously not going to be using any grenades. Overcharge, not very useful since you're not going to be using any exo ability. So really the two perks we really recommend are going to be the main ones you're going to use. If you really do want to use lightweight, I'm not going to be anything against that. But obviously the two perks we do recommend we do personally think are the best. Perk 2, this one's kind of a gamble. There's only one perk we're going to be using here is peripherals. This is going to make your radar bigger and basically not going to show skulls on the map when you kill someone. So the other options you could be using here are obviously Blind Eye, Cold Blooded, Fast Hands and Gung Ho. Blind Eye going to keep you away from them streaks and stuff. Cold Blooded, same again, kind of keeping you off the radar, keeping you at the down low. Fast Hands, Gung Ho, really personally I do think Perk 2 slot is kind of personal preference on what you really, really do want. They really do vary and that's kind of like the bonus perk you kind of want maybe. Perk 3, these two are very, very vital perks. 
guys. And if you do not use blast, sub blast suppressor, I really do recommend that. Obviously, that's going to keep you off from the radar. If you do notice on your radar, whenever someone jumps and they do not use blast suppressor, obviously boost jumps, you do see a red circle on the map. So you don't want to get your give your position away. So you're just going to be using that exo suit all the time, boosting around the map, getting around quicker, getting into better positions, and outsmarting your enemy. And then toughness. Obviously, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, that'll give you a big advantage that the other member does not have toughness because basically. They're going to flinch over the place, miss their shots, unless they get some fluky ass freaking headshot. That shit pisses me off, man. No lie. Other option, maybe instead of toughness, I really do recommend you guys really do need to use Blast Suppressor. Is Scavenger or Hardwired and Hardline. Hardline, obviously going to get your streaks quicker, which won't matter too much if we're going for gun streaks here, which is what this class is mainly for. Hardwired will keep away that stupid system hack shit off your screen. Scavenger, keep them bullets in your gun, so really... It's kind of between toughness and scavenger personally in my eyes, but I do think I really do enjoy toughness and the ammo in this game is not too bad and obviously you can pick up guns off the floor as well. And finally we're going to go to our score streaks. So the last slot we're going to use up for UAV and we're going to add on the scrambler onto it which will be plus 200 points. Without that it's only 300 points but with scrambler it's going to be 500 points. So other options I would recommend maybe is the system hack even though that thing is freaking A's when it goes against you. The stealth bomber type of streak, which is really, really good, gets you a lot of kills. Obviously won't help you with your score streaks, kind of going on for them big long gun streaks. The paladin, the warbird, obvious ones. The rest of them, somewhat useless, kind of for the lower down tier. But I really do recommend UAV, obviously best score streak ever to be created in Call of Duty, really history. Really kind of changes the game as a whole, and it's a really, really good streak and all. I really do recommend you guys to use it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this class setup, really really good class setup here from Addy. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my commentary also, if you did please do check out my channel, it'll be down in the description below, I upload videos on the daily, so please do check it out and if you could drop a sub that would be amazing guys, I'm closing out on 1.3k. And yeah, if you do enjoy Razor's videos and the gameplays in the background and just the uh, tips in general we give here, please do subscribe to the channel, drop a like and or a comment. Remember, answer the question of the day from myself here. A quick reminder, should supply drops be available to buy in Advanced Warfare? And finally, guys, it has been your boy, Jerry Cookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Feel paralyzed